So today is most definitely one of the more exciting days that we've had around here in quite a while now. And despite the fact that we don't know how things are gonna work or turn out, we're really looking forward to having this part of the build completed. Today is the day the countertops are arriving and they're going to be installed. This is such a massive step towards getting this house looking like we can start thinking about getting moved in. Yeah, it's pretty much one of the last things or one of the, the few things that's preventing this place from really looking essentially completed, which is yeah. crazy to say. Yeah, and you guys got to come along with that crazy journey of trying to find the right stone. We've only ever seen this granite under some poorly lit warehouse lighting. Yeah. So we're really excited to see it here under our light inside our home. Looking forward to it, can't wait. Oh, uh, we have to see it. So perfect. Do you like the sheen or the lack of sheen? Yeah, I do. <laughs> That looks nice. Looks really good. You like the color up against everything? Yes! The free edge looks so cool all the way down. Glad you talked me into that one. See? Design call. It's, it's rock solid, huh? Literally. <laughs> I don't get it. You know, rock. <laughs> that's, that's rock. Now you get it? No, it's no good. <laughs> You're so strong. Ah. So the island will be here later today, but they got everything else moved in. It was kind of instant gratification. We thought that maybe they'd be attaching each piece one by one, but it all came in at the same time. So they're gonna get it attached. They're gonna start working on the seam, but it looks absolutely incredible. I don't think we could have picked a better color. I love it. Yeah. Donnie, what do you think? <laughs> I think it looks great. <laughs> is here. Well, and just like that, we have a huge island in the middle of our kitchen. What do you think, Nobel? It's gigantic. How are we gonna pass the food to each other? If you're on one side, I'm, I'm on the other. I think we need like one of those mobile belts and you just wait for the food to come around. The conveyor belt, like yeah. at a sushi restaurant? Yeah. Brilliant, I love it. You ready? Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. It's big, huh? All of the countertops are in and sealed. They are just wrapping up on the island. Once that is sealed, they are out of here. This went incredibly smoothly and very quickly. So it's so, so exciting to see all of this done. Now that all the granite is installed, let's give you guys a quick little glimpse, little tour of how things turned out. So this is the master bath, double sink vanity. Turned out awesome. Moving on to the kitchen. The kitchen. So we've got the desk in place. You can definitely make that out now. We've got a little spot where we can drop down all of our cords, editing station, all of our countertops, the island. This is the first surface to eat at, to educate at that we have had in two and a half years. I am so excited. We're moving the stools in. We're doing school here. This is my 
dream island that I can can. I can have like three or four canning pots going at a time. Remember when we were in the trailer, we had zero counter space? Yes. We had this much counter space. We've come a long way. It's a dream come true. I love, 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 love that island. Laundry room has just an itty bitty little amount of counter space. So we didn't go with the double chisel as in here because it just didn't make any sense to. Just a utility sink. Washer and dryer are being moved in shortly into the kids' bathroom. We stuck with the single in here as well. One, because it's a narrow room and the vanity is small, but also toothpaste on unpolished double chiseled edge is not good. And kids, like, you know. So, single on there. And then in the pantry, we got all the countertop in there as well. So that's a lot of storage for just dehydrators and things like that, but I love it. I think it turned out so incredible. It's really, really tempting to just move in right now. I just want to go get everything and just move in. What a whirlwind of a day. That went much, much quicker than we expected it to. We thought it was gonna be at least a couple of days. It turned out to be only a few hours, which is amazing. <laughs> yeah, and it's all in and we are so relieved that it doesn't look terrible. <laughs> because you run that risk when you pick colors when you're outside of the house and you're just like throwing darts in the dark and hoping that the colors all come together when you get it here. Yeah, it's just like we said earlier, we were unsure and uncertain about how things were gonna look, yeah. but now that everything is in, yeah, I think we did a pretty decent job with our color selection. Yeah. We dragged a little bit of color out of every element that we have here in the yeah. house. So while it matches everything, it goes together well with everything, there's also a little bit of contrast that gets offered up, especially back here on the island, which I love, it's probably my favorite part. This is like drawing up a weird emotion to me. You know what this feels like to me? It feels like when we left the old house, it feels like moving day. Yeah. Which was sad and scary. So it's strumming up, <laughs> it's strumming up weird feelings because this looks like our empty house. It's like the last day that we spent our last night yeah. in the old house. It's yeah, like, no, it looks, because it looks like a completed house. Yeah. It's unbelievable. I, didn't, I never in a million years thought that things would look this way this soon. Yeah. I really didn't. It's like the old has become new, full circle. So Donnie is in there, he's still working, getting a lot done. A lot of the trim has been put up. It looks great, we're happy about that. Currently he's working on that front gable end because we have a stone project of our own that we need to prioritize. Yeah, we definitely want to get all of that trim up because the stone for the front wall is here, which means Jeremy and I can get started on that as soon as all of the window casing is in. Speaking of stone, we thought we'd give you guys a quick little patio update here because work had begun on that. We had all the excavation portion of it completed. Everything was backfilled and tamped down with gravel. We don't have the means of getting started with the actual patio pour yet for a variety of reasons. Yeah, mostly there's a huge concrete shortage and they're not able to get any mud, so they call it. And um, there's no point on putting the forms in and getting the rebar in because then we won't be able to access the house until we actually have concrete coming. So we're just waiting on that. Hopefully it's soon, hopefully it's within the next week or two. Storm 
since the guys don't actually need my help, I'm gonna catch up on some editing and to drown out the sound of the nail guns, I'm going to depend on my Raycon earbuds. I used to absolutely hate the way that earbuds felt in my ear, but the new Raycon earbuds look, feel, and sound better than ever. The gel tip provides the perfect in-ear fit and they're so comfortable I can hardly feel them. But they're also so secure that they will not budge, no matter what we're up to. So whether I'm inside working on videos or Jeremy's outside working on the homestead, Raycon is the perfect balance for us. The passive noise isolation is like no other, so they are incredible when mowing the lawn or working around loud machinery. But I can also switch to the very handy awareness mode when the kids are around, and I need to keep an eye or an ear on things. These Raycon earbuds are also water and sweat resistant, which is perfect for us because we put them through a lot, including rain, sweaty triple digit temperatures, and the occasional whoops, I threw my pants in the wash without checking the pockets again. Raycon earbuds are ideal for everyday use. They have up to eight hours of playtime for listening to audio and making calls, plus the charging case holds up to 32 hours of battery. But the thing that I love most about Raycon is just how reasonable they are, not only for us, but for the kids as well. I started looking at the price of other brand earbuds and there was no way I was buying those for the kids. With Raycon, we get all of the high performance features as we do with the other earbuds at half the price, plus they come in a lot of fun colors, which the kids love. To check out Raycon for you and your family, just click the link down in our description box below or go to buy Raycon dot com slash good simple living to get 15% off your Raycon purchase. Now that I got a little bit of editing in, I better go see how the guys are doing. The windows on both gable ends are completely trimmed out. That gable end is totally finished. The front wall is almost finished except for two headers that we realized we're missing this morning. So we need to wait on those, but for now we're going to continue working on doors. Bit of an odd, kind of strange, weird whirlwind of a day for Melissa and I. We didn't get as much recording in as we wanted to because we were trying to chip in and lend a hand where Donnie needed it around the windows and around the door. So as you can see behind us, all of the door trim and casing has been installed. It looks very, very good. This place is looking more and more finished by the day, by the hour. Yeah. It's amazing. We probably only have like another day of trimming out windows and doors and that part's probably done, but. yeah. Since it's still pretty early, can we move the washer dryer in? As you wish, my love. As you wish. The washer and dryer are another thing that I bought back in January or February, and I've never actually seen these in person. I've only ever seen a picture online, and I don't even really remember what that looks like, so I'm super excited to get these unwrapped and be able to actually Just like when them. we met, you saw my face online, you're like, ooh, what is that one? You picked it, you're very hopeful that it was gonna pan out, and lo and behold, we finally met in person, and you were absolutely awestruck by the level of handsome. Jeremy, your story. So now I'm a 52-year-old, smoking, super tall lady that ordered a mail-order Filipino husband online. Correct, correct. Touch mom, touch mom. Yeah, Quickly, touch mom. Oh my gosh, I do feel it from here. <laughs> so shiny. 
It is shiny. We're just gonna spin it in there for the time. Just wash me up against the granite there. It's that way. Yep. But will the door shut? <gasps> Barely. I think it will. Yeah, I think it will, but man, by like an inch. Yeah, that is tight. Holy cow. We got lucky on that one. You want to know the bugger of all this? What? I can't reach the bottom of this. What? Yeah. Like when the clothes are in there, I'm going to have to get in the deep. washing machine. You got it. <laughs> I need a stool. Hey, if worse comes to worse, just grab one of the kids and just send them down their head first. I just get cure Eli by the ankles. Do it. Grab her. Pick her up. By the yeah. feet, go. <laughs> oh no. Kira, can you reach? No, she's like a she's like a good eight inches from the bottom. There we go. We got the washer and the dryer moved into the house. None of this stuff is hooked up because we don't have a water heater set up for one yet. Also, I was ill prepared and I don't have the plug that we need for the dryer. So we'll have to get all that stuff installed and see how far that bumps it off the wall because we might end up having an issue between the dryer door and the door for the room yeah hopefully not hopefully we can make that work somehow we'll, we'll see how it plays out i'm just excited to see it it's it's pretty it's prettier than bessie oh, I forget. <laughs> yeah understatement of the century yeah bessie when we were moving here she fell off the truck well first she was already really old it was from our first house and then she fell off the truck and then my dad tried to fix her and then anyway she ended up screwed together and then we did laundry for about nine months out in the field yeah our washing machine journey since moving here has been pretty funny we had to screw bessie together to keep her up and bessie. running we didn't want to invest in a new one until we, we had the house um to get everything moved into so yeah. yeah between you know hooking it up to generator out in the field and That's hanging all of our laundry on a clothesline to get it to dry when we first got here yeah we've come such a long way this is long journey incredible Today we are continuing to get the window and the door turned up. This has been a crazy week as far as just the house looking completely different. Jeremy is getting the hinges on all the doors and then we'll get all of the doors put in. The master bedroom is completely trimmed out with one exception, the baseboards. Once the baseboards are in here, it's completely done. The kids' rooms are almost done as well. They need baseboards and closets, but we have one last window, just one. <laughs> I, ran into the wall. I was doing so good walking backwards. Walking backwards okay, wait, is hard. Start that again. All right. We have one last <laughs> window, just one. <laughs> It's a toilet room window. It's not romantic anymore and I hurt my funny bone. Melissa, you know why that happens. It's like your daytime drinking. <laughs> no, don't spread more rumors. Just saying. I wait till five. <laughs> Found Kira in her room. What are you doing, Kira? Making a hat. Oh, that's nice. For the toy drive? Yeah. That's a nice bright colored one too. Will you show us when you're done? Okay. Is it going to be like a week from now? No. No? You're quick? <laughs> okay. Well, you enjoy your room. Thick fog, it hangs, it hangs in the air. For now, our vision is impaired. We can't see far, but we can be right here. And it feels like something is coming. We've got no time to prepare And the world's a wonderful song We're the house of a new affair And now we listen 
Jeremy and I are going to get started with hanging doors. Hopefully this goes smoothly. Our track record with hanging doors isn't great, but Donnie got most of the hard work done with making sure that the door frames are perfectly square. Yeah, it really shouldn't be all that big a deal. So we're gonna start here in the master wing and work our way all the way around the house. Throughout the evening, we worked to get the doors hung up. And we had some great reflective conversations about the past two and a half years. From arriving here in our trailer to no garden, no house, no running water or power, just an empty field and a big empty barn that we would later make into a temporary home. It was shocking to our system to go from a comfortable home with all the conveniences that we had always known to doing everything a different way, a more difficult way. I'm doing dishes in Tupperware bins. I've got my wash bin, and this is gonna be my rinse bin since we don't have any running water in the trailer. So it makes things uh, definitely a little more difficult with six dishes for six people. I remember those first few months as I would watch Jeremy fill the shower by hand, and we were washing clothing with a generator and a strapped together washer. This here is my laundry room with a view. Wondering if there would ever come a moment when suddenly, we just couldn't do it anymore. But that moment never came, and probably because we were so busy and we were always working towards tonight, towards the hope of one day trimming up the home that we always said we would build together. We were running 100 miles an hour just to keep our heads above water, and we didn't have time to regret our decisions. When we moved here, we said that we would sell everything, we would quit our jobs, and we would make it so that we literally had no other option but to make it work. We would make it so that there was nothing left to retreat back to. And our only option, difficult or not, was forward. So tonight, as we hang up these doors, I'm thankful that we've made it this far. I'm thankful for a new washing machine that I don't have to bang on the top to get it to go, and I'm thankful that we'll have a dishwasher again. But mostly I'm just thankful that we didn't stop grinding long enough to let fear and doubt creep in. Because when you really go for something, the only thing that can get in your way, if you let it, is you. <laughs> One day I'm gonna buy myself a nice washer, but today is not that day. Look at it go, all by itself, look at it go. 